Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll. I'm Tony and today I'll be unboxing Cosmic Encounter, a game about aliens with crazy powers colonizing the galaxy. It's uh, published by Fantasy Flight Games um, for three to five players, ages 14 and up, and last games last about one to two hours. So let's uh, take a look inside the box. Okay, took a bit. Right. Ah. There's a advertisement for Legend of the Five Rings. Play that. Quite a good card game. And the rule book for Cosmic Encounter. Quite comprehensive. Um it's kind of the latest uh updated rules. So that should be fairly cool. We have a uh, cardboard boards full of tokens, which are really cool looking. This is the the warp gate where your aliens um, shoot onto the other planets and try to colonize them. This is the warp here where your dead ships are sent, and these are these are all uh, the players' different planets. So really nice looking quality there. Actually, it's all kind of. Uh, taped up um, so here we have tons of different cards these are cosmic deck destiny deck there are there are flares here which uh, designate some different alien powers this is the hackers power and he has two different card two different powers which is very cool um, here is some Destiny deck or Cosmic deck, an attack card. So players will have these in their hands and they'll be using them to fight each other. And the winner was was with the the higher the higher number, obviously. Um, so let's kind of see if we can open this. So this is one of the sets of cards. There's multiple eights. A lot of eight cards. So they're all, it goes from, I believe, zero to 40. And you will be having a hand of these, so zero. That's a morph card. So that is equal to, you play that and that matches whatever your opponent played. So you can have some kind of crazy mind games with that card. I think there's only one of them in the whole game. A reinforcement card that your allies can play. You know, you can use it to boost up your 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 forces at the last minute kind of steal a win out with them negotiate cards which um if you both play negotiate you're not you're no longer attacking each other it's kind of diplomacy and you have to make a deal within one minute which is kind of a cool thing there's lots of negotiate cards and there's actually an alien i know who uses negotiate cards to win fights <laughs> so you have to watch out for that too Oh, some artifacts there, a cosmic zap. This this is very powerful. That stops um, aliens' abilities. So you've got to watch out for those kind of things. Some more artifacts. Jeez, there's so many cards in this game. Really cool. And here's yet another deck of them. And there, here we have now some baggies full of uh, the alien ships. They're kind of these classic saucer looking ones. Here's some sort of red player. Uh, and they're shaped in such a way that they all stack on each other. Really cool. Nice bit of detail there, actually. So, and the colonies, they can they all actually stack on each other. Like this. Make it really cool. Make it easy to, uh, to keep them all together like that. And here is... These are the big alien cards. These are these are what you get for your specific aliens that describe everything that they can do. So a large baggie of them. We'll open them there now. So there's 50 aliens in the game. And you can imagine the different uh, with with all the different powers and that yeah, no two games will be alike, that's for sure. 
So we have amoeba. I might go through a few of them here. There's a lot to go through. The amoeba has the power to ooze, <laughs> which is pretty cool. They're all um, kind of color coded at the top. You can see there's uh, yellow, green, and red. I think that's kind of how difficult they are to play and how difficult they are to play against. So, you know, you have to be a, a, a kind of know the game before you can, you should be able to play these against these trickier ones. Uh, we have anti matter, calculator. These are nice quality uh, cards as well. I have no idea if you'll be able to sleeve any of them. They'll be a very specialized size. But uh, yeah, it's it's nice paper card stock. Uh, we go through another couple of them. The Chosen. The power of divine intervention. I think he can go, he can just start praying uh, before he draws a card and like if he, he might draw the right card um, so they all have their all cool little um, little tr twists the clone the power to replicate so he can't he whenever he plays an attack card he always gets it back so he never loses his attack card he kind of re replicates it so that's really cool the filch has the power of theft you can steal cards the hacker you can hack cards from other players. The loser. <laughs> That's great. So he, he makes it so that the loser wins and the, the winner loses. <laughs> they, every single alien changes up the game in a huge way. So that's that's the best part of it. The, the power of mass for the Macron. The miser. The miser has a special setup and he gets his own horde, which is his own, his own hand of eight cards that he keeps to himself. That he can play whenever he wants. So that's really cool. The Mutant. The Observer. The Oracle. You can see whatever any other player is playing. Which is really awesome. The Pacifist. This is the character who... This is this. He's a very simple alien. Power of Peace. But it's simply... You play and negotiate. Instead of losing, you win. So. It's really cool. The Parasite. If you notice, the Parasite is actually the alien and the parasite is actually on top of the, the pacifist alien so he's right there <laughs> um he has the power to infest so he, he can force he can ally himself with anybody no matter what if they if they want them to or not so there's so many different aliens there i've just shown you a few there um so that should be really fun i can't wait to actually start playing that game um all this all the different abilities and god knows no two game will ever be the same, I'd say. Um, so that's what the, uh, it's very simple insert. Looks like there's nothing else in here. Um, uh, very straightforward. Uh, so that's what the uh, the inside of the Cosmic Encounter box looks like. Thanks everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Tony, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been the lucky roll.